Hi, I'm Angie and I saw this really fun looking chocolate bonbon design online. Um, it was a tutorial and I thought we were going to try it out together today. Um, yeah, my, my feed on Instagram is full with chocolate and chocolate people and um, so I saw this tutorial from a chef, um, from a pastry chef from Denmark. Um, I think their name is Chocolatia5 if you want to follow. And um, yeah, they have a tutorial where, where they um, use colored cocoa butter and basically flick it with their fingers into the mold. And so this creates a really accented uh, splatter, like not the ones I usually do where like the splatter is everywhere. It's really just in a couple of places and I think this could be a really really cool cool addition to uh, like um, all of my other splattery designs. And so after they, they do the splattering they also use a sponge um, and so that's what we're going to do as well. So yeah I'm really excited this could be a really fun design and um, yeah let's do it. Here we go. Ah, So this is the mold I want to use today. Nothing fancy. Um, just a sphere mold. And I will use two of those sponges, um, two different sizes. I will have a link down in the description below if you want to get some. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to use today in sense of equipment and of course the colors. I'm using Chef Rubber only today. I have a green crystal, a gold. Um, those are actually the two colors I want to use for um, like flicking the colors on. And here I have a, a red garnet and a pale green zatar, and that's uh, the two colors I want to use the sponges for. Okay, now I will melt uh, my colors and then we can start. Okay, let's put on some put on some gloves because this is going to be messy, or at least I assume it's going to be messy. Let's see how this works. So in the video they were just flicking ah, colors with their finger. Okay, yeah, this works. No, this is the gold. So what I really like about it is that you really have just a couple of uh, splatters like this here. And so it's very very different than um, if you're using like a toothbrush. So I do like this a lot. Um, what I'm going to do now with my next color is I will switch the direction of the mold. So I just get some colors here in the other edges. Um, and yeah, we'll do the same thing. Put on some, put on some gloves. This is how the green looks like. The pattern is so different. That's so cool. But what I want to mention is this. I have some issues with my wrist so it hurts from time to time and well I have some troubles with it and so when I flick I can do it a couple of times without um, like that it's hurting me um, but I cannot see myself doing this more than one mold. I don't know about your experience um, maybe you don't have any issues with it but um, yeah that's what I wanted to mention. I like this red a lot so I have two sponges um, and I will use the bigger one for the red and the smaller one for the green. Let's see if that's enough. Oh. All right, um, not sure what I'm doing, but I'll start out with like a sweeping motion something. And now I want to go through. Okay, 
let's take a look. I think I like it better when the red is um, here on the side. Yeah, so I'll continue doing that with the last row here. All right, let's turn this around one more time for the next color. Maybe in the middle, I'll just go the other direction. I'm not sure yet if we might need one more color. Let's take a look. Yeah, cute, but I think we need one more color. Let me think about this. Yeah, I think we need one more color. Let me think what I have here and could fit really well to the rest of the colors. I was just thinking either using the peach luster here from Chef Rubber or this very color. Um, so this is a color I made from scratch a couple of days ago and I've never tried it. Um, that's why I want to use it and see how it works out with, um, with the other colors. I'm not entirely sure if it's the best choice. Um, yeah, but I'll just give it a go and see um, how they turn out. And I also just have like a bigger sponge left. Oh, well, that'll be good. I think, yeah, I'll just go in there. At this point, I mean, you don't need to use a sponge here. You can also just have like a last layer of um, with your airbrush. I think that would be good too. You know what, I think I'll add a last layer of the peach luster. <laughs> Let's just do it all. For sure, that's definitely the last color and the last layer. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how they will look, honestly. I'm not sure if I will like the end result or not because now there's like a lot going on. You have like some splatters, you have some streaks and you have like uh, the, the pattern of the sponge. So yeah, might be too much of everything. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's temper some chocolate, fill the molds with the tempered chocolate and um, hope for the best. Okay, let's take a look at those. Okay. Okay, let's try something. Um, I'm not sure yet if I want to fill them or not. Um, so I don't want to um, yeah, damage the shells here. Um, I have a board here, like a cutting board and some parchment paper. Let's 
sometimes they don't go easy out if, like, you know, if they are only the shells. Let's see. Because oh, I don't want to damage them. Let's just be careful. If they don't come out easily, you can just pop them back into the freezer. Those will not come out easily. So yeah, I will uh, just put them into the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes and then they should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching um, as always i hope you liked the video um i hope you get something out of it and if you have questions you can leave them down in the description below or you can send me an, a dm on instagram at chocolate beer and that's all from me today have a good one bye